There's a man in the attic. Is there? I'm not sure. Mom, is there a man in the attic? When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. And I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, somebody is here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night sometimes, or a couple of times, and I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Or so he thought. Fine phone. Ooh. Game looks nice. Can't sprint. But I like the fun schwag, please. A little calendar. What year is it? I don't know what year it is. Alright, I gotta find my phone. Where's this phone at? I would love to sprint. Was this made in Unreal Engine 5, bro? This is pretty cool. Looks good. Don't need to use the bathroom right now. Well, I sure do hope nothing claps these cheeks when I come downstairs looking for my phone. <laughs> yeah, look, it's boy. right there, right on the desk, or on the coffee table. Ew, they got an Android. Hey, brother, I just want to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imagination. She was probably just very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Did she say she saw a man in the attic? getting late but I should clean up first clean up the dining table today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along his wife and their three or three bro I can't read it his wife and their seven years old daughter her name is Lily and technically she is my niece it's been a while since I last seen him so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other just talking after a while I noticed that Lily was very uninterested I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about everyday life is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a very, I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV. Away from the boring adults. She was grateful. And then, the Fire Nation attacked, right? The man from the attic. Oop. Today spin. Nah, Android is goaded. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Unpopular opinion by man's two lip. Just get both. Time to do the dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searching everything. Check the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon after, they left her for the night, or they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Almost sounds like my past of the man in the attic. My dad said he left for the milk, but this whole time, He's just been living in the attic. It's 12.46. It'd be kind of weird if it was actually that time. Time for sleep. Boiler room. I don't need to go there. Okay. Why is everything so slow? It's fine. But this is a nice house. Look at this. This man got some nice furniture. What kind of art style would you call this? This would be like a modern, I guess. I wouldn't say earthy. Oh, with the plants. It's earthy. Where are my interior designers at? Anybody watch TLC? Not talking about the band. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Hmm. These noises, they're coming from the attic. How about if I go to bed? Okay, you know what? Let's go check the attic and hear what's going on up there. The old... What, what's, what's the... I don't remember leaving the door open. The old textbook or sequence. You know, usually I'm not scared, but I just don't like how dark it is and how real the story kind of seems, but not really. I'm just waiting for a jump scare. I know that these games have stupid jump scares and look 
at that painting. I don't want to get caught by a stupid jump scare. <laughs> this is stupid. There's nothing up here. There's that. And I can't run, so it's like I'm waiting for it. It's like I'm not even scared. But I'm about to be. Going back to sleep. That's the best thing to do right now. Let me just curl up in the fetal position, go to sleep, catch some Z's. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> With the Nomi, go to bed. Yes. I'd cry if I walked this slow. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake, but you anxiously search for the cause. But you won't find anything, and you question it once more. I do. Oh no, creepy gnome. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, Jamila. I didn't see that. Creepy gnome. Is the man in the attic real? Okay, I'm not doing this. It's a good question. Is the man in the attic real? Yes, he's real. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps, 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 perhaps the man under your bed. I don't see nobody. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Oh, I guess this dev made a game. <laughs> okay, I thought I was going to be a cheap jump scare. That wasn't too scary. But hey, the atmosphere was there. I'll give him that. I was expecting a jump scare and I was actually a little bit nervous being upstairs in the attic, even though nothing happened. 